start on page six. We'll be using that, and then we'll be using this for the healing scriptures. We'll be doing the healing scriptures today. All right. Okay. So Luke 22, verse 19, on page six. And he took bread and he gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, "This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me." In the Hebrew way of thinking. When you remember something, you bring back to life. Amen. Remembrance then becomes power. Because you bring it back to life, you bring back the power to it. So, uh, John 14, 12 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because it goes to the heart of God. Our remembrance brings back to life all the power that Jesus did. Malachi 3.16 says there's a book in heaven that for all eternity people will read what you have told others about what Jesus did for all eternity. So let's share what Jesus did. So get out your healing scriptures and share with us. You I got one? I like Luke 6, 17, and 19, uh, which came near to him and to, and to be healed by their diseases, and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for they went out of him, virtue out of him. And he them all. Okay? Okay, we got one. Okay, we got one? We got one right here. It's just John 9. John 9. Yeah, it's 41. This is healed a man born blind on birth.
Jesus was arrested and taken to the temple. After an illegal court, the temple guards a squad of Levites called Jesus. And then if we skip down where it says, Jesus was blindfolded, hit, and told to prophesy to his doctor. Repeated through the rest of the night. He was wounded and bruised before he ever got to the cross. He was black and blue because of my sins. Jesus is starting the second day without any sleep. Unlike me, I slept in church. At daylight, a second court was arranged. Then Jesus was sent to Pilate. Jesus was also walked by Herod's soldiers. Roman soldiers walked out his beard and spit on him. Pilate's Roman soldiers were expert torture. He was chastised on a beast. The Roman scourging was to make the stripes so deep that they could break the skin and pull out the chunks of flesh. All that scourge that they used, sometimes called the cat of nine tails, they had different ones. But on the end of each, however many branches they had, they would either have a bone or a piece of metal. And the guy that did it was very good at it. And he would take it, and just as it hit, he would pull it back. Why? Oh no, he could do no mighty works because of unbelief. What? He could do no mighty works because of unbelief. He had he could have called, the Bible says he could have called ten thousand angels. Yeah. And if he could have called ten thousand angels, he could have saved himself. Jesus willingly died for the cross. They didn't understand that. They didn't know what he was doing. He was the same 
sacrificial lamb for Passover. Instead of having a lamb, it was Jesus on the cross. So Jesus completed the requirements. We don't have to do a sacrificial lamb every year, do we? Because Jesus did it once for all. Uh, if he be the king of Israel, let him now come down to the cross and we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For it says, I am the Son of God. The thieves also which were crucified him cast the same in his feet. In Isaiah 53, it mentions three benefits. Forgiveness of sin. Is that a good benefit? he doesn't do any mighty works in my brother's life? What? Because he doesn't believe? It's because of unbelief. And sometimes it's unbelief all around you. You know, you're trying to believe God. But everybody says, why are you doing that? It won't happen. So it kind of sucks it out of you. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, it's because of unbelief. Because God, is God's power unlimited? No, it's no. unlimited. God's power is not limited. Does he want to do it today? Yes. yes. So the only reason why it is not happening is because of our belief. Everyone, by his Christ, Christ I am healed. healed. By the hope we have in God. All right. Can I do that? Let us pray. Daddy God, as we partake of this prayer, I ask you to bless this prayer as it's a symbol of Jesus' body that was broken for us. Jesus, 
severed and his body that he might receive the benefits of the union. Jesus is praying for the benefit of the children of that union. By his Christ we are healed. So I'm asked to love the Heavenly Father to bless his prayer that we might receive the benefits of the children of that union that Jesus is so very faithful. Healing for damage, RNA, healing for damage, DNA, healing for damage, T-cells. Amen. 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 Forgiven. Come on, guys. They are washed white as snow, never to be remembered again. I am sanctified, made holy, set apart for God. I am an overcomer. I am victorious. I will not be defeated. Satan has no place in me, no power over me, through the blood of Jesus. Amen. Daddy God, thank you for blessing this cup as it is a symbol of Jesus' blood that was shed for us. Amen.
तीन तीन Through the blood of Jesus, the devil is defeated in my life. Oh, yeah.